Hi, this is Rob. To do fractions on this calculator, we're going to use this ABC button. I call this the fractions button. For example, if we want to enter the fraction one third, press the one button, press the fraction button, we get this symbol on the LCD, then press the three button. This is what the fraction one third looks like on this calculator. And this is how you enter fractions on this calculator. Press the enter button. And you can see 1 over 3, the fraction 1 third. As a reminder, if you're getting any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll press the clear button to clear the screen. How to enter a mixed number fraction. A mixed number fraction is a whole number with a fraction. For example, the number 5 and 3 fourths. Between each number you enter, you have to press the fraction button. Enter a 5. Press the fraction button, enter a 3, press the fraction button, enter a 4. That represents the number 5 and 3 fourths. Press the enter button to see how this type of fraction will display. You get a 5, then this symbol, and the fraction 3 fourths. This is 5 and 3 fourths. I'll clear the screen by pressing the clear button. Let's add two fractions. We will add one third plus three fourths. Enter a one. Press the fraction button. Enter a three. That is one third. Enter a plus sign. Enter the next fraction. Enter a three. Press the fraction button. Enter a four. Okay, now press the enter button for the result. The answer is one and one twelfth. I'll clear the screen by pressing the clear button. How to convert a fraction into a decimal. Enter the fraction 7 eighths. Enter a 7. Press the fraction button. Enter a 8. Press the enter button. There is our fraction 7 eighths. To convert this into a decimal, press the blue second button and then this PRB button. Above the PRB button is written in blue, F to D. That means fraction to decimal, and it also means decimal to fraction. So you can convert a decimal number to a fraction. After you press those buttons, this appears on the screen. Answer F to D. Press the Enter button to get the result. The decimal is 0 0.875. So 7 eighths equals the decimal 0 0.875. If you press the enter button again, it converts the 0 0.875 into a fraction, 7 eighths. We're going to store this fraction, 7 eighths, to use later. To store a fraction, or any number to use later, press this STO button. STO stands for store. You can store up to five numbers. You store them in A, B, C, D, or E. The A is underlined and they have the number 1000 stored in A. Go to B, press the right arrow button. In B, I have the number 45.6235 stored. In C, I have the number 36.78. In D, I have the number 11 and 7 twelfths stored. In E, I don't have any number stored, so we will store the fraction 7 eighths in E. Press the Enter button to store it in E. On the screen it says Answer Stored in E, so 7 eighths is now stored in E. I will clear the screen by pressing the Clear button. Let's use the fraction that we stored in E. I will take the fraction 2 eighths and add the number stored in E which was 7 eighths. Enter a 2, press the fraction button, enter a 8, enter a plus sign. To recall a number that was stored, press the blue second button, then the stow button. Written above the stow button in blue is RCL. That stands for recall. We see this screen again. Use the right arrow button to go over to E. There is our fraction in E, 7 eighths. Press the Enter button. Now we have 2 eighths plus 7 eighths. Press the Enter button to get the answer. 
The answer is 1 and 1 8. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.